Hi guys, I just got out of the shower and tied my hair up in a bun. I've also cleansed and exfoliated my face to ensure that I have a clean canvas to start my makeup off with. I'm going to start by applying moisturizer all over my face. This is going to help with foundation application later on to make sure that it's going to apply smoothly without clinging on to any dry patches. So as you can see, this step is really important for me since I typically don't use a primer or an eye cream. So I'm gonna let this set for a few minutes. You're also gonna be wanting to prep your lips so that your lipstick applies nice and smoothly later on. Next, I'm going to be applying one of my favorite foundations of all time. I usually reach for this when I do want that flawless look. I'm going to be applying one pump of this first. Using my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush, I'm going to stipple this all over my face and blending it out slowly. As you can see, this foundation is a tad bit lighter on me right now, but I promise you that I'm going to make it work later on. Now, adding another pump of foundation because I do prefer a full coverage on my face. Not that I needed it, but it's just a personal preference. And if I did have the time to spare, I could honestly sit here and blend forever. Using an angled brush, I'm going to be filling my eyebrows in with this random Revlon eyeshadow palette. As you can see, it makes a world of difference. Now that my eyebrows are filled in, onto my favorite part of my routine, and it is concealing. So I'm going to start off by using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, followed by this NARS one, which I'm currently testing out. I'm going to start by putting this on the back of my hands, using my ring finger to warm it up, and dotting it underneath my eyes. I'm also going to be putting it on areas where I needed it, around my nose, around my mouth, on my chin, and my forehead. So you're going to want to pat this oh so slightly underneath your eyes. Try to avoid using swiping motions because you're just going to end up swiping all the product away from your eye. So keep blending it and blending it and blending it. So now we're done. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be using the same brush that I use for my foundation and blend out the harsh edges. So now I'm gonna be applying a little bit of the NARS one since I am still testing this out. I'm just gonna dot it around uh, my eye like a V shape um, on the bridge of my nose and trying to highlight a little bit. Since this used to give me that white cast, I asked the guy working at the makeup counter to give me a shade darker and see if this works this time. So hopefully that's a lot better. Now I'm going to be setting my concealer and my T-zone area. I try to avoid setting my entire face because I do prefer that dewy finish. Using a Real Techniques contour brush, I'm going to set my under eyes with this tap off the excess and tap it underneath your eye on your t-zone area now that everything looks nice and blended i'm going to be applying eyeliner next i'm going to be applying a black eyeliner on my upper la upper lash line Also, I'm going to be using my Rimmel Kohl Kajal in Nude. This will help with making my eyes completely awake. And I'm going to curl my lashes. And apply a mascara that I am currently testing out. This helps a lot with my non-existent lashes. So this is from L'Oreal. I'm now going to bronze my entire face up using my NARS bronzer in Casino, using a blush brush. 
I usually contour my face a lot, but since today I just want to kind of give myself some color, I'm just going to go ahead and bronze my entire face up. Just a quick disclaimer, I am by no means a professional makeup artist and this is also not a makeup tutorial so I apologize if that is what you're looking for. Anyway, I'm going to be applying one of my favorite lipsticks at the moment and it is Spirit Lipstick by MAC. It is that muted beigey type of color. And if you're wondering what I did there just now, I am doing that because I want to prevent lipstick on my teeth. So. Moving on to the last part. Well, not really. Hair. So the only thing that I do to my hair is wash it the night before and tie it up in a bun and I just apply a bit of Moroccan oil the next day. And I'm donezo. So on to the outfit. I kept it pretty simple today. This is what I typically go for on a daily basis. I am very boring with um, my clothing, so I just uh, am wearing a black crop top from Topshop, a pair of high-waisted shorts from Mongkok, I think, and um, a little kimono that I got the other day from H&M. I also added a little dinky necklace, also from H&M. And I am ready to go. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!